it, I love it the way you clap back when you move. Ain't nobody in here with that body, nobody but you. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today is gonna be a product review slash curly hair routine, low porosity edition. The products I'm gonna be using for this curly hair routine are the Kriya Cryo. I do believe it's Kriya Botanicals, low porosity hair care system. Uh, what you're looking at right now are the results from using the whole line, which includes a shampoo bar, a deep conditioner, a leave-in, a curl pudding and then also a sealant like an oil. Now the cool thing about this brand is I'm using the low porosity system but they do have a system that is dedicated for high porosity hair as well. So the products aren't just catered for like one hair type or one hair texture you know. They are vegan and 100% natural products. A lot of their products contain like herbs and stuff like that but I'm not gonna bore you guys with talking about the products. I'm just going to show you and how they worked in my hair. So if you guys are interested then you know stay tuned. Don't forget to get this video a thumbs up comment down below guys and make sure you guys watch the video from like start to end because the YouTube's little algorithm thing it really helps me out if you guys stick around and watch the full video before we get into the actual video I want you guys to comment down below what your hair porosity whether it is high normal or low I pause this video comment down below tell me why you think your hair is what it is and without further ado let's just get straight into the video what is hair porosity to be exact? Hair porosity is the hair's ability to not only absorb but retain moisture. So you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, why is this important, Sheldon? What's your point? Think of this like a book and you know, your hair is your book. The book summary is the porosity. You read the summary to get a better understanding of the book, correct? So apply that to your hair and your hair porosity. All right, porosity is broken down into three totally different types, all right? There is low, normal, and high. Now digging a little bit deeper into this, I'm gonna be breaking down a diagram for you guys, which is going to basically show you a more in-depth view of the, oh, okay, all right. All right. All right. Seriously, guys, I'm going to leave a link down below. Naturally Curly, they have tons of information varying from each curl pattern, texture, type, and hair porosity. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video, guys. Crea Botanicals. That's the pronunciation. That's what I'm going to be using today. And the very first product I went in with was the uh, Clarifying Shampoo Bar. Now, unlike all my previous shampoos that I mentioned throughout my YouTube journey, this is a shampoo bar, similar to like a little soap bar that you would use. It was actually very easy to use. Um, you know, I just kind of rubbed it throughout my hair. And I did that in the shower. And I started this routine last night, y'all. And the very first product I'm going to be using on camera is this... Uh, veggies and herbs deep conditioner and y'all this had a lot of slip it was very moisturizing and all these products y'all they all smell the same and that scent is i really wanted to eat this it smells like um the uh green apple flavored jolly ranchers like it's literally identical to that that's how all these products smell but i'm working this into my hair i have my hair split it off into two sections the back is tied up and i'm working on the front Simple stuff, you guys have seen this before. Now the directions do say leave it in for roughly around 20 to 30 minutes, however whenever I do my hair routine and I start it at night, I do leave my deep conditioners in overnight so I will like pull my hair up and I don't know what this is it looks like a bootleg pineapple y'all my hair is wet so everything looks weird but I'll pull my hair up like this and I'll just sleep on it just like this I don't cover it up or anything and I wake up the next day and I just rinse out the deep conditioner so that's exactly what I did and now I'm gonna be going in with the um, the leave-in conditioner now this, this is moisturizing, nothing bad about this product, it smells the exact same like the deep conditioner, however it was a little heavy uh, and I made sure not to use that much, but it was, it was still a little bit heavy y'all, I don't know if it's just because my hair is getting longer and so things are, you know, I'm having to adjust my routine, but that's just how it was. But I enjoyed it nonetheless, 
the next product I'm going in with is the curl pudding. Now this, um, it defines the curls, it does, it moisturizes the hair, it does everything, you know, uh, a pudding is supposed to do. Off the top of my head, if I had to compare it to any other product, I think I would compare it to the Curl and Style Milk from Shea Moisture. That's honestly what it reminded me of. But I just took a little bit of it and I just raked it throughout my hair. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm also doing the praying hands. Uh, method i did that when i used the leave-in but i kind of cut out where i did it for the back sessions of my hair but i don't know if you guys have caught on yet but i'm doing the lco method and so basically what that is is a leave-in a cream and then an oil so the very last product for this routine i'm going to be using the hair oil now this is like a sealant oil um if you have a low porosity hair which i do the lco method is best suited for a low porosity hair so i sprayed it into my hand and then i smoothed it through my hair that way just because i don't like spraying oils in my hair like that actually i don't really like oils at all but i just did it for the purpose of this routine you guys have seen this in a video before but i'm taking like the front part of my hairline and i'm using a comb and some gel this is like a rat tail comb i'm gonna kind of like uh sculpting my hairline back in place i do this when my hairline isn't like in desperate need of a cut but also when it's not freshly cut either and then because i didn't use any gel for this routine i'm just kind of finger coiling some curls that usually frizz up a little bit easier and you guys know i'm always on the lookout for you all so i have a 20 percent off discount code for you guys it will only be valid for two weeks so hop on that and this is just the official review of all the products, y'all. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like mentioned earlier, give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week in my next video.